books. Okay, hello, oh, welcome to Amanda's Tarot and Spells. I wanted to do a quick little video on how to protect yourself from people doing black magic on you, um, gossiping about you. Um, I have some wax under my nails because I just, if you watched my last video that I did, I just spilled that candle. Like it just rolled all over my cards, but I saved them. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to do a video on just a talking video on um some things that you can do to um protect yourself from black magic and gossip and pretty much just the evil eye who sent whoever sent an evil eye to you because i said i would do this video and i actually did like a complete spell using my charger tray here and for some reason that video would not freaking upload so I have to go back and redo that video. Also, I'm waiting for some of the ingredients. I had to reorder some of the ingredients to do that spell, the protection spell and um, the cinder back return to cinder spell. So I'm just gonna do this video, make it as short as possible so you guys can have an idea of things that you can do to protect yourself when there is a karmic who is sending magic because um there's a lot of videos i watch a lot of tarot videos myself and there's a lot of videos um where they do inform you that there are people who is doing black magic on you and who's sending spell work your way so some of the things you could do on a daily basis to protect yourself is definitely invest in gemstones and crystals my favorite one to use is black tourmaline i got this rock here from our local um we have a local little witch store in our neighborhood i got this chunk of black tourmaline it was like 40 bucks i also have another tourmaline um if i lose my tourmaline i've never of course i'm never going to lose this rock I used to keep it in my car, so there was one time that I actually almost did lose it when I was doing a lot of traveling last summer. But um, black tourmaline will protect you from all negative energy. It also soaks up negative energy and repels it, if that makes sense. You could also use uh, tiger's eye. It is also very good for protecting. This is blue tiger's eye. I love this little rock. It looks like an eyeball, but it's very good for protecting. Um, I also use amethyst. It's very good for protecting um, sage. Sage yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your home. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your kids. Cleanse your family. And also there's a number of oils that you can use to protect yourself. I have, just to give you an example, I have reversible oil. If you want to send a spell back to somebody, you want to send black magic back to somebody, you want to turn the situation around. Also, it goes with this candle. Now, with this candle, you want to get this candle with the black on top. Um, I'm going to take this candle out because I make candles, so I know how to take the candle out. I'm going to take this candle out and flip it upside down. And when I do eventually use this candle, I'll do a video on how to get the candles out of jars when you buy them like this. Because the candles with the black on the top are sometimes hard to find. So if you wanted to reverse a spell to somebody, you would definitely want the black on top. So it would soak up the negative energy, break the curse down, and then manifest all the good that you want. So you will want the red on the bottom. So the black breaks it down. The black turns the black the black sends it back and then when it gets down to the red that's when all the man the good manifestations are manifesting and you wouldn't want to anoint it with the reversible oil to go with it um also you could dress this candle with things like victory over evil oil uh let's see palacento sticks are good for reversing spells um protection not reversing spells i'm sorry palacento six incense if you don't have sage if you don't have sage incense work as well as um sage does it pretty much does the same thing and has the same spiritual properties 
Florida water is definitely good for cleansing yourself. If you wanted to take like a spiritual bath, spiritual baths are definitely, definitely, definitely very productive at cleansing yourself. If somebody has spent, has sent black magic to you or negative thoughts to you, any of that, any of that bullshit that somebody's trying to send your way, Florida water. Florida water or rue water is good for breaking curses. You want to take a spiritual bath. How you would take a spiritual bath is, of course, um, cleanse your bathroom, cleanse your tub, fill your tub up with water. You will want to pre-shower because this isn't something where you want to physically clean. It's something where you will want to spiritually clean. So you want to fill your tub up. You will want to put Florida water in it. You could put, put bay leaves in it. You could put rosemary in it. Those are all good things to uh, protect yourself from all that negativity. If you wanted to add gemstones, like I said, um, tiger's eye is one of my favorite things. Black tourmaline is one of my favorite things. Um, amethyst, blue tiger's eye. Also, what else do I use to protect myself? Bay leaves definitely are good for protection. I always keep bay leaves near and handy. One just fell behind there. One of these right here. Also, rosemary protects you from evil, protects you from black magic and all of those things. So keep that on handy. Also, this is a evil's eye bracelet protection jewelry is what this would be referred to you can get it in a bracelet you can get it in a necklace you can i've seen big um pendants like as big as my moon right here you could get that you could put it on your wall to protect yourself from negative energy magic work and things like that um scripting scripting is one of my favorite things to do and it's a full moon so it would be a good time to do that now so you would get a piece of paper you would write your name and birthday at the top you would say, I release this energy from such and such. I release these feelings from such and such. I'll make a video and go more in depth about how to script, um, to release energies from people and also how to script on a new moon, which is best to manifest. What am I leaving out here? Cause I'm doing this video, you know, I didn't prepare for this video, but I really, really wanted to put it out so people would um have an idea of how they can protect yourself from karmics because there are karmics who are out there sending negative energy someone can send you negative energy and not even know it just by speaking just by using their tongue like i tell people quick watch your tongue when you're around me in other words watch your mouth because what you say can manifest people can stare at your pictures that they find on your facebook and just stare at your pictures and send negative thoughts and they also say that it's good to you know, cover your head, wear a hat, wear a toboggan, wear something to cover your crown, your third eye chakra to block that negative energy. Um, am I leaving out any other favorites? Salt, sea salt, of course, sea salt. I just have some regular coarse sea salt that I got from Dollar General, which is like $1.95. Put the salt in the four corners of your home. Put the salt um, on your windowsills. Put the salt, the salt on every door that you have. I have four doors. So I have one in my basement. I have my front door, my back door, and my upstairs door in one of my bedrooms. I line all of those doors with salt when I feel need. I definitely script back energy whenever I'm need, like whenever I'm in need, when I know somebody's sending energy. And sometimes you don't always have to know the exact person who is sending you that negative energy. You can just put the enemy or the person sending my sending negative energy um, my way. You could you don't have to have the person's name. You don't have to have the person's birthday. Even if you just have you don't have to have the person's picture. Even if you just have an image of that person in your head, if your spell work spell work is strong enough. You can literally just do work on a person just by the image in your mind. Trust me, I've done it. I've done it, but my shit is legit, so I'm just saying. Oh, also, I just heard one of my kitties sneeze, I think. Also, cats, they are very, very good. But they are very, very good at repelling bad spirits, bad energy, and all of those things. Yeah, that's my kitty sneezing. Um, I have three cats, one little kitten, one teenage kitty, and a big, nice orange cat that I actually manifest. He's my main protector. Like anytime I do spell work, he's kind of like an alley cat, but anytime I do spell work, I swear he senses it. He comes straight in the house. Like he'll sit on the back of my chair or he'll sit in the room with me. He'll make sure he's there with me. 
but those are some of the things that you can do to protect yourself if somebody actually if somebody's not just staring at your picture or you know sending negative thoughts through you know just thinking about you just thinking bullshit about you and saying oh i wish this happens happens to this person or they're doubting you sending doubt your way or all those things or trying to make you feel stuck and stagnant if they're actually like going and getting ingredients and putting you in a jar with pictures and birth dates and things like that it is very best that you take a spiritual bath spiritual bath and remember when you're taking your spiritual bath you want to use your intentions you want to use the power of white light you want to use um florida water you want to use crystals you want to use your rosemary you want to use your um kalasunda if i'm pronouncing that word right um let me see if i can pull that out because that's one of the things that i use to dress my candle i don't see it right now but like I said, I'll do a more in-depth video, which I already done, but YouTube would not load it for me. I guess because it was like 30 minutes long. So I'm just making this little video right here to give you guys some ideas of things that you can do to clear your energy when you have a karmic sending bad energy your way. Or you have a hater, hate nice friend who's secretly sending it. Just send it back. Send it back. I don't care who. That's why I say scripting is one of my favorite things because you can literally, literally just write everybody and anybody who is sending negative energy my way and praying on my downfall. I send that energy back. I block it. I break their spell. It no longer affects me. It is no longer in my life. So most it be, so it is done. Burn that piece of paper and take you a spiritual bath and do it repeatedly do it repeatedly do it over and over because some of these people are sending you bad energy over and over so you have to constantly keep up on those things when you got too many haters in your life and trust me haters are every motherfucking where so hopefully you got a message from that video and if you did please hit that like button also don't forget about my 100 dollars cash app giveaway all you have to do to qualify for that is hit that subscribe button Leave your cash app in the comments and hit that like button and you will be in that and I'll be announcing that winner on April 30th. If you have any more questions about spell work, dealing with protection from karmics or haters or anybody else who's wishing on your fucking downfall, everybody's a hater when it comes to them wishing on your downfall because they're missing something in their self that they see in you. So yeah, just know, just know, like don't even take it out personally on yourself. But if you have any more questions and you would like privacy with it and you will like guidance on that, you could definitely email me. My email is in the description. Hit that like button and share and subscribe. Thank you.